When it comes to autonomous vehicles, you might be forgiven for thinking the only hurdles that need to be overcome before self-driving cars are on every corner are the technical and legislative ones. But there's a whole other side of autonomous vehicles that the general public often miss altogether when discussing self-driving cars. Namely, the question of how these cars will interact and respond to other road users, be they drivers of other vehicles, cyclists, pedestrians, or perhaps even those on horseback. You see, while we may not realise it, when we're behind the wheel of a vehicle, or on a motorcycle, or on any other vehicle, we're always communicating with other road users, be it a small nod to a pedestrian at a crossing, a simple wave of the hand, or perhaps even just making eye contact. We're able to infer intent and direction using non-verbal cues. But a fully autonomous car can't do that. It can't give direct eye contact to someone at a crosswalk or let another car merge in front of them at a lane change, which is why many automakers and academics around the world, often those with a background in psychology, anthropology and sociology, are devising systems that will allow autonomous vehicles to indicate their intentions to everyone else. And to do that, they first have to understand how people will interact with cars and car drivers today. Usually to do this, researchers study hours of in-car camera footage from a plethora of different sources, including manually operated and autonomous or semi-autonomous pilot project vehicles, examining everything from the eye and head position of the driver, or minder, through to the subtle changes in body language from pedestrians. Of course, the ideal scenario would be to record real-world interactions between other road users and a level 5, fully legal autonomous vehicle. That's because even if the person behind the wheel isn't directly interacting with other road users and letting the car do most of the work, there's still a reassuring human face other road users can identify with, at least with today's pilot projects. A car without a human in? Well, that's something completely different. And because most countries currently require autonomous vehicles, fully autonomous or otherwise, to be under constant supervision with a human behind the wheel, obtaining that kind of data is particularly tough, and it's pretty much impossible in most places. Which is where Ford and Virginia Tech come in with a super simple, ultra-low-cost research project that actually gets to gauge the reaction people have to autonomous vehicles using a vehicle that appears completely unoccupied. Taking a lead from YouTube and the numerous ghost driver pranks which see people don car seat covers to give the illusion that the car, or in one case a robot, is doing the driving, the researchers took a standard Ford Transit Connect van, then created a special set of seat covers that could hide a driver completely from the outside world. With the driver seeing through a fine mesh headrest cover and their upper body completely hidden by what looks like a regular car seat, the vehicle looks from outside to be driving itself. The illusion, it appears, is enough to fool most road users and gain useful test data. Indeed, with all-round cameras capturing every interaction between the vehicle and other road users, the researcher's low-tech seat suit gave them plenty of data to base future work on. Interestingly, while Ford did consider using a text-based message bar system, similar to the one found in Nissan's IDS concept car, it ultimately concluded that humans aren't always great with responding quickly to text-based instruction, as it takes time to react, especially if the viewer isn't working with their native language. Similarly, icon-based messaging had its own issues, driven from cultural differences between different countries and regions, which is where Ford's light bar came in. Using a simple LED light bar across the top of the van's windshield, the researchers found they could easily communicate some very important things. First, two white lights that moved from side to side, Knight Rider style, was used as a sign that the vehicle was about to yield to a full stop. Meanwhile, a solid white light on the bar indicated that the vehicle was driving in fully autonomous mode and moving. Finally, a rapid blinking set of lights were used to indicate that the vehicle was about to accelerate away from a stop. So far, in more than 1,800 miles of driving and 150 hours of research in the state of Virginia, it appears the simple lighting system does the trick, giving other road users far more confidence, and it would seem less hesitance, in interacting with autonomous vehicles, even if the vehicle wasn't really autonomous. Who knew a YouTube prank could yield such a low-tech solution to helping researchers develop one of the most advanced cars we've seen to date, eh? Well, it just goes to show that a little bit of out-of-the-box thinking can really make a difference to the quality of data that scientists can gather.
And if you'd like to know how to spot an autonomous car and one that's a seat prank, well, just look at the license plate because in most states, autonomous vehicles have a special indication on the license plate so that you know it's self-driving. That's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to hear the moment a new show is uploaded and click the Patreon link at the end of this video or in the description below if you want to help me make more of these videos. Until next time, keep evolving.